Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Time for me to build this center console up for my manual and my accessories. I'm going to swap everything off of this one onto that one, including the harness, the switches, this center piece here from here down to the switches actually screws off since it has that nice wood grain for the R series cars I'm gonna remove this one and put it over there I decided to add a lighter adapter to the back also a couple of USB adapters to the back and probably a USB adapter where my um, switch used to be for my transmission performance. You have two primary harnesses that plug in the front of the center console. You got the gray one, which obviously only powers the four windows. Then you have the black plug that powers your your light going back to the back of the center console. It powers your mirrors, the mirror switches are connected down there. I unplugged it from the rest of the switch pack. Your heated seats and your transmission switch. So the uh, transmission switch is probably that black one there. I think that's the one of the heated seats and this gray one is the other one. So let me plug this in check these leads for power and go from there again my plan is to add a cigarette lighter in the back some USB plugs back there add a auto down to the passenger front seat and maybe do some USB plugs right next to me where I sit where my transmission selector used to be I back probe my cigarette lighter wire it's 12.26 volts. That knockoff switch only knocks off the uh, power to the back window switches. I have it off right now. My gray and red wire is not reading any power. My blue wire is reading 12. So if I want to wire this uh, back outlet so that I can knock it off, I want to put it on this gray red wire here. The switch is on now, and now I have power to that gray red. Let me put this back in accessory. <clears throat> on accessory. My switches still have power. So I can roll my windows up and down with the accessory. My blue wire has 12.26 volts. My red and gray wire has 12.26. When I switch it off, I think I get the same thing. No power and power so there you have it let me see if all of these rear window uh, things have power to them as well no power no power no power no power looks like these um, leads are ground leads not power leads if i want that stuff back there powered every time the keys turned on i want to use this blue wire if i want to be able to switch it off and on i want to use this red and gray wire for a ground i need to ground it directly to some metal under here or i can ground it to this black wire here which is what I'm probably going to do. 
as for these mirrors switches heated seat switches I'm gonna leave those heated seat switches alone I don't want to add any stress to that which is the black and the white plug even though that wouldn't be a bad spot probably the uh, blue yellow wire here blue yellow wire there but you could back probe it to check it I'm gonna plug this in I probably uh, would use the wires for these um, mirrors probably a really good source because you're likely never going to use the mirrors and something plugged in the accessories at the same time that's just rare now I have that plugged in I'm gonna check make sure I don't get any voltage on anything without the key on other harness the wires that make a difference is the blue yellow they're the only ones with power 12.8 they only get power when the car is in the run position. When the car is in the accessory position, they don't get power. So you don't want to use those if you want to power that thing back there in the accessory. You can always run another accessory uh, wire back here. But your easy options is either to bump off of this power lead that goes to your... Um, cigarette lighter I don't recommend the little lines that power this light here they're just thin wires I would like to get something heavier or use your window switches which is your blue or your gray red if you want it switchable I'm about to take my stuff out of my center console and take the clip loose there clip loose there clip loose there Clip loose there, okay. clip loose there, take that relay loose there, then I got some T20 screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, then I got to carefully take that apart, I'm going to test that bulb down there, I might pull that bulb out and uh, disassemble this thing. Being careful not to break that. And I also got to cut this zip tie here. Hold this harness in place. And I got to rewire all this stuff into the other replacement harness. The way it is here. Alright, I put a little cut in there. Where I pinched that in there. Like right in there. Then I put my ohm meter on there. I, you can see that little dot. I checked the ohm from this aluminum peg to that dot. And I got zero resistance. Then I put a little dot up on this side where I bridged the new wire in on that pin. Then I got zero resistance there too. So that should be good to go. In this video, I'm going to be adding some USB connectors to the back seat area in my vehicle. My vehicle, the back of the center console, actually has a little light there. And then it has two switch knockouts for where the rear seat heaters would be my car is, was not equipped with the rear seat heaters here's the back of my center console and it's got these two knockouts and i ran some wire back here when i had my center console out last my ashtray goes there here it is so i'm gonna put these right here so i'll have a couple usb plugs back there if somebody's ever back there you just don't want a hard wire a USB plug back there this one already looks crooked internally but you want the adapter to have the circuitry so you see how big that plug is in my hand this has all the circuitry to properly power and protect the devices that you plug into it now I wanted one that had like a 1.5 in one plug and a 3.1 in the other plug so that it would be able to do phones and then tablets and stuff but this one came 5 volts 3.1 amps and I believe it will automatically adjust itself to the power draw of the device just like your wall outlet deal would do so let me see if I got these wire connectors and plug these in so this is what came in the package. 
a couple wire connectors. The leads are already uh, stripped and these actually plug in the hair. It already got the plus and minus signified on there. So this should be an easy go. And in my center console area, I had already had uh, these things marked as well. So I pull this out. Oop, hopefully I didn't break that dang thing. I don't think I did. And here are my wires. My black are my ground. My green's my power. And I already have these jumped, so I got two powers, and I'm sharing the ground. So, let me go ahead and get my crimps. Uh, get my plug here, so that it fits in this the way I want it. I might have to grind that out a little bit. And hopefully this thing is far enough from there that it won't bother uh, my stuff back here. And I may put a piece of thick Gorilla Tape over this metal stuff so that it doesn't um, somehow ground out any of my wires ever. And I'm also going to look see if I can find a light bulb for this. Because I think that light bulb will actually burn out. I trimmed a little bit off both sides of where the blank was. And pushed this through here. The clips are really not in. But this thing is in here pretty tight. I can't imagine somebody pulling this out of here. So, I'm going to go ahead and hook the wires up on the back of it. Plug it in, and it will be working. Now, the dust cap on it, it pinched and cut itself off when I forced it in the bottom of there. So, I'm going to set the dust cap in there, and people can put it on and off. Who knows, maybe I'll glue it on there try to get it pinched back under there so let me try to pinch it under there and go ahead and hook this up couldn't find my permanent connections so i hooked up these temporary twist ties i'm gonna pull those off in a week or two and when i put the cigarette lighter outlet here i'll make all that stuff permanent let me go ahead and plug this in make sure this thing works right that connection actually goes too deep. So you either need to drill a hole or a slot or something for them to fit in there. Or you're going to have to bend them. So I'm going to bend mine out probably 45 degrees. Or get some 90 degree connections in and I'll be good to go. And there you have it folks. USB connectors for whenever the key is in the accessory position. This power comes off the window switch power. So that's what powers it. And I'm good to go. I'm going to put a cigarette lighter outlet there a little later. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.